by way of the second portion of announcements, we're not going to have a regular voting over scriptures like we have in the past two conferences. The Council of Elders spoke after the last conference, and we realized that in our first conference in 2019, people had years to read over the various revelations and scriptures and things that we were presenting to vote upon. While many of the revelations did happen in 2019 that we were voting on in 2020, people still didn't feel that they had enough time to pray and decide whether or not they desired to vote for or against scriptures that we were asking to be sustained in the last conference. Because of this, we did a campaign or emailing all those that are on our mailing list so that they could read and pray on the various revelations that we had offered and also some of the new ones that we have received after conference of last year. However, we have compiled these revelations and others into Doctrines of the Saints, which is available if you go to cjccf.org. And in the menu, you'll see the word scriptures. Click on that and you will see the Bible, the Book of Enoch, the Book of Avar, and the Book of Mormon, and Doctrines of the Saints. Doctrines of the Saints is our open canon, and so any new revelations will be presented there. We will be praying to decide when to vote on that, or even if we decide to vote on it at all, because in the fellowship, we aren't a traditional church. You're the church. We're a fellowship of people from a variety of different spiritual backgrounds. And not, not even all of us are in the Latter-day Saint movement. Some are new to the Latter-day Saint movement. <clears throat> so by having an open canon, we're not trapping people in and saying, you must believe this or you must believe that. The key or cornerstone scripture to the Church of Jesus Christ and Christian Fellowship would be the Bible and the Book of Mormon. The Torah is the law. The Gospels are the law lived. The prophets are the explanation and the teachings of the law. The revelations, the acts, and the epistles are also teachings of the law and other further revelations, other light and knowledge the Lord wants us to have. It is a gift given to us in the spirit of prophecy and revelation to help us to know Christ through the spirit of prophecy and revelation. The Book of Var is the history of the coming forth of the Book of Mormon, and the doctrines of the saints are all the revelations that we need today to move forward in Christ as Latter-day Saints. But everything really rests on the Torah and the Gospels and the Book of Mormon. Any other scriptures that people bring in from wherever their background is, we welcome that. And we don't want to force people to believe scriptures that they aren't comfortable with, and nor do we want to take away scriptures that people love. There was no canon in the history of the Church of Jesus Christ until the Jews and the Catholics and their various committees decided to create such a thing. And there really was no revelation requiring this. And so therefore, any canonization that we have in the fellowship is really more out of a habit coming from the tradition of men. So rather than worrying about which books are binding on our movement, let's focus more on Christ binding us in our hearts. <clears throat>